Hello and welcome to Solid Cat. Today we are going to make this knuckle joint. Uh, there is a pin here and there is a taper pin here. This is the eye board, eyes, uh, eye side, or this is the fork. Fork. Uh, so let's start with the. Let's uh, close this. Don't save. I will open a new document. Novice, advanced templates. I will go to custom NC. Okay. On the right plane, I will draw uh, some sketches of a 18 times 2 and another one is 36 times 2 36 is the radius and 18 is the radius so that's why I multiply this you can uh, we can go there and we can check this with the so it will be as per our drawing like so I will draw a rectangle from here to somewhere here and I will draw a center line from here sorry from here to there make sure it's vertical uh, is horizontal it's okay I will make them symmetric like so uh, this is the drawing I should have uh, given you the drawing first this is the drawing uh, this is uh, what we are making this one is th th 36 here radius and 18 millimeter radius of inside here this part and is this is 109 millimeter from center to this end and 147 from this end to the center of this these bushes here so let me start with this I will give it a dimension from here to here is 109 millimeter like so I will draw another line I will take a line from here midpoint line I will start from here and go vertically up like so I will draw a couple of lines here more lines here like so like so I will trim them with power trim I will trim these these I will trim also this and this one I will trim these also like so this is 18 this is 36 and this is also 36 as per drawing let me give it a dimension from here to here it is 18 36 millimeter sketch is fully defined now I will extrude it extrude I will take mid mid plane and 36 millimeter like so this is done on the top plane I will draw a couple of set sketches here S circles here one is of 30 millimeter and second one is of 60 millimeter 60 millimeter 60 millimeter okay and this and this should be vertical okay and there is a distance from here to here is 147 like so sketch is fully defined I will extrude it extrude I will offset it 18 millimeter because this is 18 millimeter from here to here is 18 and total is 36 and uh, the length of this bush is 22 millimeter like so I will go to contour selection I will select this and this both okay like so I will take this and top plane and uh, mirror it sorry I will take this in top plane and mirror it like so okay I will go back to the sketch and uh, use cut extrude selected contours I will select only this 
through all both like so this is done I will draw a sketch here of 30 millimeter 30 and I will extrude it up to 25 millimeter the size is not given so I'm free to choose whatever I want this 25 millimeter is okay like so I will draw a sketch here like so I'll go back and turn into an arc and go there and close the sketch I will give it a dimension of 9 millimeter and here this one is given 48 millimeter 45 millimeter 45 millimeter okay this this one is not given so I took it 9 millimeter so no problem here so I will revolve cut it and give it this one the axis of revolution like so I will take this to check this and circular pattern I will take this and four numbers four numbers of uh, instances here like so part one is complete four end is complete now I will go for uh, I will give it uh, the material is given uh, forged steel but we don't have a forged steel here so I will take cast carbon steel instead this will do the job okay I will save it save it on the desktop fork okay save I will open a new file custom NC okay on the top plane I will draw a sketch couple of sketches of 30 millimeter and another one is of 60 millimeter 60 millimeter like so I will extrude it up to 36 millimeter mid plane 36 okay like this on the front plane I will draw a sketch I will take I better take this from here to somewhere here I will draw a center line make it symmetrical symmetric and this is 33 millimeter 33 millimeter and from here to center of this is 120 millimeter like so I will take this like so and give it a dimension from here to this edge is 14 millimeter is enough to do the job okay I will extrude it take it mid plane 33 millimeter like so okay I will draw a sketch here of 30 millimeter and extrude it extrude up to 25 millimeter like so I will draw a sketch on this plane the same as before I will draw it from here to here somewhere and go back and turn into an arc and go there and join then and close the sketch I will give it a dimension of 45 millimeter which is given in the drawing and this one I will take 8 millimeter so this will look like same as the drawing I will cut ext revolve extrude it revolve cut it I will give it excess of revolution this like so okay this is done I will check this and circular pattern this four places okay 
this part is also done there is nothing left to do i will give it a material also the cast carbon steel because it, this one is also forged steel we don't have a forged steel in the uh, library of this uh, solid works so i will give it cast carbon steel instead this will do the job okay i will save it save as i end i end save i will close this i will open a new drawing custom nc okay on the front plane i will draw a center line like so i will give it a another sketches here few sketches here and i will close this here i will give it a dimension from here to here is 102 this is 102 but i will give it 102.5 because calculation shows that it should be 102.5 and this is 15 mm and this one is dia is dia is 45 and this dia is 30 mm 30 mm sketch is fully defined let me close this like so i will revolve it revolve base boss like so there is no chamfer but if i give a chamfer here and there there will no problem i will give it later i will take the front plane and uh, make another plane at 30 mm okay because uh, there is uh, you see 60 mm pin here which is taper 1 in 30 it means uh, every 30 mm the 1 mm is drop here so this is 60 it means 2 mm drop here so i will have to make 60 mm for pin the hole this with this hole for 60 mm for 60 mm mm long pin okay so that's why i'm doing this i will make another plane at 60 mm like so i will draw a sketch on this plane 6 mm i will give it a connect geometrical relation here let me give it let me give the dam like so it's vertical no it's not given vertical vertical okay and this is 15 mm from here 15 mm like so this is done i will exit out of the sketch and i will draw another sketch here of 4 mm 4 sketch is fully defined i will exit out of it i will use lofted base boss i will select this and i will select this like so it should be in the in the in one line so it will make uh, the accurate i will have the accurate result here like so and i will uncheck merge result so there will be two bodies here i will have two bodies here i will hide these planes and i will go to bodies folder i will control select both and combine i will subtract uh, i will check common show preview now the subtract clear selection main body is this sorry clear selection main body is this and bodies to subtract is this show preview that's what we want this is the hole here okay we got our tapered hole here of 30 mm i will give it a chamfer here of 1 mm 
one millimeter here and one millimeter there it's not shown in the drawing but it's good practice to have some generally in the machine shop the chamfers are given so i gave it chamfer this is material is mild steel so i will take plain carbon steel for this okay i will save it save as pin pin save okay i will open a new document custom nc now i will draw on top plane the collar collar diameter is 30 millimeter inside and outside dia is 45 millimeter like so and i will extrude it i will take mid plane and extrusion is 15 millimeter like so like this i will do the same here i will take the front plane and make a geometric plane here 30 millimeter like so i will take this and make the plane again 60 millimeter flip side like so so this is done i will draw a sketch on this of 6 millimeter sketch is fully defined i will exit out of it i will draw another sketch on this one of 4 millimeter 4 millimeter like so the sketch is fully defined i will exit out of it too I'll hide these planes i will use lofted base boss like this like so let me make it in one line that's okay this is in the one line but it is twisted it is twisted now it's okay this is in the one line and okay uh, okay that I will uh, uncheck merge result okay I could have used uh, the lofted cut but I use this and instead so you may learn something about combine and subtract features show preview it this is wrong delete delete this one is bodies to combine this and this one is this and show preview this is good we have got our cut here like so i will give it also here chamfers here and here of one millimeter of 0.5 millimeter one millimeter is too big 0.5 millimeter will be okay this is done the collar is done collar is made out of plain carbon steel ms mild steel which is plain carbon steel actually so this is the collar collar save this is done only remaining thing is left is the pin on the front plane I will draw a center line from here to somewhere here I will draw a sketch here there there and I will close it down the pin is 60 millimeter of length 60 millimeter this must be of 4 millimeter and this will be 6 millimeter this is our pin I will revolve it revolve like so this is done the pin is ready the pin is also of mild steel plain carbon steel this is done this is the last part now I will go for assembly save all pin 
टेपर पेन टेपर पेन ओके सेव आई विल ओपन अ न्यू आई विल ओपन इस ट्यूटोरियल असम्बली फाइल है आई विल टेक फॉर द फर्स्ट द फोर्क हियर एंड ड्रॉप इट हियर लाइक सो इट विट ऑटोमेटिकली अलाइन विद ऑल दी ऑल दी प्लेन्स हियर ओके नाउ आई विल एड अनदर आई एंड I will rotate it about the y-axis. Y-axis, like so. I will mate it. This and this. Okay. I will mate this and this face, like so. So this is done. I will bring in the pin now. I will bring in the pin. like so i will mate it with this this is the concentric mate here i will mate here this one this face and this face coincident mate okay so this is done now i will i will uh, use the collar here i bring the collar in here let me do this let me make this and mate with this okay and i will mate this this with this like so now the i need the pin i will bring the pin in here okay not pin sorry cancel I will bring the taper pin here. Okay, open. I will rotate it about the x, y axis like so. I will mate this, mate this and this like so. So this is our part. I hope you enjoyed the video. So this is a simple uh, knuckle joint here. This works like that. This is a knuckle joint assembly we made in SolidWorks with simple tools. I hope you like it and enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Please subscribe.